Hi there, it's Ben, waterfall guy. Today I'm in my absolutely favorite place in Nova Scotia. I'm in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park. I'm in an area uh, near the uh, Fishing Cove River and I'm using this old section of the Cabot Trail to get to a section of a river called the South um, Fishing Cove River. Hopefully there's some falls there. I can't see something on satellite imagery. I'm not sure if it's a true fall or not. Uh, I'm gonna try. Basically the way there is using this whole cabin trail section here for about two and a half kilometers and then I'll be a bit of a pushback of about 500 meters and then I'll drop into the valley and hopefully there's some falls there. Hey again, so I walked for a few kilometers on that old cabin trail. It's pretty much overgrown. There are some places where there's a lot of moose traffic, which is quite nice, but in other places it's really overgrown. Of the, of the bird and uh, the bird is trying to take me away from his nest. Anyway, so love the trail now. I'm bushwhacking, but this is the beauty of the top of the highlands. Is you'll get these big areas like around here where there's hardly any trees. You can pick a tree in the distance, aim for it, and get there. No compass, no GPS. Uh, for that route, I mean, after that, you'll probably need it. So in front of me is the valley, uh, South Fishing Cove River. Two branches of the Fishing Cove River, both uh, getting close to each other on the downstream end where the uh, camping is. I'm really upstream here now. Hopefully, I'm going to see some falls. So I've made it to the river, South Fishing Cove River. And so far, my first waypoint that I had put was, turned out to be some of a dud. Um, you know, maybe a drop of four or five feet. I got an next one downstream, I think was the biggest. Hopefully there's something there. Uh, there's definitely a gorge coming up. Wish me luck. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. And I think that was the first feature I had in my GPS was this gorge back here. And hopefully there's something better down. Uh, the two drops here, I mean, no more eight, 10 feet, but cool little rock canyon though. Yeah, so that uh, South uh, Fishing Cove Brook, South Branch Fishing Cove Brook didn't uh, give any falls that uh, were outrageous as I thought. So now I'm on my way back to my place, to my car, and uh, just before you hit the Cabot Trail, there's some tributaries. One had a bridge that was really weird. Uh, I wouldn't go on that bridge far, were you? Anyways, I'm downstream of it. There's a couple of cascades, nothing falls, but uh, still a nice valley in here.
Hey there, so I bushwhacked my way to the main branch of the uh, Fishing Cove River and here is a little fall, I mean, looks about 12 feet, but better than nothing. It's like a really deep pool in front of it. Saw a lot of fish go in there. Let's have a look at this one here. So I, I'm at the end of my journey here. Uh, kind of half bushwhacked, half using old cabot trail, half, uh, oh no, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, here I'm following up the, uh, the main branch of Fishing Cove River. It's an old trail. I guess uh, they didn't want to maintain it, so it's, kind of overgrown now but it's still scenic you kind of follow the river from real close a couple of sets of rapids but uh, yeah it was a bust on the south branch but that's what it is you know when you uh, when you explore for falls sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't <laughs>